the cones are still in there. So when you do slip on your pieces, those three uh, little bags of slip that I gave you, those are flashing slip. And a lot of them have either Helmer, well, either Helmer uh, clay in them, or they have soda ash with one or two other ingredients. So you just mix those up with, um, I gave you each, I think about a half cup of the slip and basically you mix it to cream consistency and make sure it's mixed super well and then brush it on your leather hard pieces. You can brush it on um, bone dry, you just have to be careful of the piece and you can brush it on bisque wear. But when you think about working with bisque wear, then there's probably gonna be three or four people once you put it on our shelves that are going to be touching it. And if it's on the bisque wear, it will come off a little bit on people's hands. There's gonna be people picking them up to kind of go, oh, should I wad this and putting it back down? And then somebody picking it up to wad the bottom and turning it over and then turning it back up and putting it on a shelf. And then there's Barbara who's gonna be loading it or somebody else and they're gonna pick it up. Oh no, no, maybe I'll wait here. So the pieces, if you do it on bisque, you can, but the chances of it being wiped off a little bit is greater. So try and do the slips. So those are the slips. The glazes are basically, um, regular glazes that are cone 10, 11, 12 glazes, cone 10, 11, 12, that are basically glass. They're like regular glazes. And a lot of times you just wanna put those on the inside. On the outside, you can put slip. On the outside, you can put glaze, but you need to know that that glaze isn't gonna run. And you also can put ongobes, which ongobe is a, a mixture of slip and a little bit of glaze ingredients so they will melt a little bit more. I believe that's what Susan put on her sculptural piece, the blue. She probably either put a stain or an ongobe on there. Uh, and you can see with, um, with the temperature it ran a little bit. So that would be the difference. You asked me what the difference Great. was. Do 